Hi everyone, I'm Amy from Amy's Beach Fitness. Today's workout is going to be unique. All you're gonna need is yourself a mat. If, you're, if you have a kettlebell at home, I'm working with a 10 pound kettlebell, and if you don't have a kettlebell, you can always use a dumbbell. It's gonna be a kettlebell bar workout. The kettlebell swings will be done slow, high reps. We'll put the kettlebell down, and then we'll go down to um, doing some lower leg work, glute work, hamstring, and um, quad work. It'll be a great combo. You will sweat. It's a full body workout. Remember to stretch out a little bit before and after all of my videos. I want to show you something. If you don't have a kettlebell and all you have is a dumbbell, or I mean a yeah dumbbell, this is only five pounds. So you're probably going to want to go a little higher. But so when we're doing the swings, you can hold the dumbbell like this. When we're doing one arm swings, you can hold it like that. Most of the kettlebell swings and stuff that we're gonna be doing, you can use a dumbbell. So I don't want to just, you guys to say, oh my gosh, I, I don't have this, so I'm not gonna do this workout, because it will be a great workout. So feet are gonna be very wide. You always have a slight bend in both of your knees doing kettlebell work. The weight is always, always, always in your heels. Core is engaged during every kettlebell move, and here we go. I'm actually gonna angle a little bit so you guys can see this at home. So weight is in the heels, thrusting my hips, I'm not arching my back, squeezing my glutes on the lift of the kettlebell. Focusing on my breath. Before COVID, I did a lot of fitness classes for years and I, every Tuesday and Thursday, I would do kettlebell workouts mixed with core and body weight exercises for many, many years. It's a great full body workout. And a lot of fitness trainers or people swing a heavier dumbbell, but I always chose to do lighter so then I could get higher reps and then you get the cardio part of it, which is great. So from here, you're gonna go straight up. So if you have that dumbbell, you can still do this move. Core is tight. Weight is in your heels. If you notice, oh so slightly, a pause on the lift. Ten more. And after the 10, we're gonna put the kettlebell or dumbbell down and focus on some bar. Two more. Okay, toes angled out. Hands on your hips. You're gonna get in your tuck. For any of you who are not familiar with bar, tuck means heavy tailbone. So right away your hip points pop out and your tailbone gets heavy and down. Okay, from here, you're gonna go down six inches, up to six, six inches with a pause. Shoulders and chest are up. Pausing on the lift. From here, we're gonna do 20. One, two, when I say the count, that means we're on the up of the exercise. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, muscle confusion, nine, ten, ten more. One, stay in that tuck. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're gonna heel toe, heel toe once. You're gonna releve right foot, which means on point. You're gonna drop down to a really nice right knee bend. Uphold here for 20, a little bit quicker, but still, for this one, we're gonna do very little isometric. So one inch up, pause on the up, one inch down. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, core is tight. Eight, nine, ten. One, two, three.
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 20. Drop right heel, 20 more, one, two, stay in that tuck, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 10 more, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 20. Grab your kettlebell. This is shoulders. If you are working too heavy of a kettlebell, this is what's gonna happen. It's gonna drop like this. What you're gonna to wanna to try to do is keep the kettlebell facing out at me as my kettlebell will be facing out at you. Bringing the shoulder back, but not overextending. Focus on your form on this. And if you don't, like I said, grab a kettlebell or a dumbbell. All right, here we go. You're still squatting and thrusting the hips. Core is tight to protect your back. I like to have my left arm out. If it's too much, you can just have it down. It's your call. From here, 12 more, one. Halfway. One more, we're gonna go right into our switch. My Dalmatian, Lonnie, is right by my fiance who films me every day. And she's staring at me, ready to bark or come over here by mommy. We'll see what she does. Four more. And four. Upside down on your kettlebell from here. Have your feet hip width apart. Here she is. We're gonna do a little squat with a flat back. Weight is in your heels here. And you're gonna lift up. Bend elbows, bent knees. Lift up, slight bend in elbows and knees on the lift. Let's slow it down. Pause and then lift. Core is tight, pause, lift. Make sure that weight is in your heels. 10 more lifts. One, she is a good girl. She hears a train outside, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're gonna go right into tricep swings. Have a little angle out with your toes, back to squat, and you are going to bend your elbows have your arms close to the side of your head, bending the elbows and straight up. Still a little thrust in the hips, squeezing the glutes right here in inner thighs. Eight more, this is one. Four, halfway. Two more. Slow, control, one more. Kettlebell's gonna go down on the ground or dumbbell. Okay, from here, you are, your heels are about six inches apart. You're gonna stay in your tuck, uphold, right here and actually let's make let's pretend we are holding on to a big big stability ball put resistance into your arms flex your arms fingers are wide up hold here staying in your tuck for 30 starting now one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven Eight, nine, 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, 30. Releve means on point. You're gonna go on point for a count, then down to your heels for a count. You're gonna do a little bit of a um, bend to your knees, releve up, down an inch, up, down an inch, control. Find a focal point, a lot of balance work here. If the releve part is too challenging, it's okay. Don't do it, but also challenge yourself. Pause on the releve if you're able to. 10 more lifts, this is one. Tight arms, hold on to that beach ball, stability ball. Two, stay in the tuck. Three, full body experience here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, and 10. Grab your kettlebell or dumbbell. We're gonna work some biceps here. Biggest thing about this move is to not crack the side of your knee. Okay, Miss Lonnie. So I'm gonna actually go on the left side. Oh, I'm gonna go on the right side. I don't wanna hit my puppy in the head. From here, you're gonna squat, raise up. So it's bicep, front of the shoulder. Knees and toes are facing you. My feet are a little wider than hip width apart. Momentum, momentum on the back. Bend at the elbow, then come up. Think of bent knees, bent elbow, straighter legs, straighter arm. Eight more. Stay with it. One, two, hi, sweet girl. Three, four, five, six, seven, last one, eight, switch. Remember, you don't come up until after you make the bicep movement. Eight more. One, two, three. If you notice, my kettlebell is going straight up to the ceiling. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Nice. Toes really angled out, wide feet. Left arm out if you choose to, if not put on your waist. From here, you're gonna stay in your tuck. You're gonna raise up with your kettlebell. Inner thighs here. Pausing on the lift of the kettlebell for about a second. From here, let's do eight more. One, you can do this with a dumbbell. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, last one, eight. Switch arms. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and eight. Two more. Nine and ten. Put the kettlebell or dumbbell down. Hands are going to be on the waist on this, so enjoy the little rest in your arms. Okay, wide legs. You're going to get in your tuck. You're going to squat down. Pretty deep, but listen to your body. So let me show you what it's gonna look like. We're gonna actually alternate legs on this too. So you're here, you leave a slight bend in the left knee, just like this. The weight is in my left heel. I'm not putting it into my left knee, so I'm really working my right hip flexor, okay? 
So we're gonna alternate. So if we're on, we're, this is the left side. You will notice right away which hip is tighter. Once again, it's my right hip. Alternate 420, staying in tuck the entire exercise. Core is tight. All right, start with right leg first. Ready and go. So one, when you lift, that supporting leg knee has a slight bend. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Halfway. One, really good to hip flexors. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Grab your kettlebell. Okay, this move. It's called a snatch. It's kind of a weird name. I don't like that name at all, but that's what it's called. So, biggest thing on this move is the work is all done in the wrist. So if you have weaker wrists, you have to be careful. Your arm is going to stay tight the whole time. So the movement is popping the wrist. So I'm gonna show you one. I'm gonna show you from the side what it looks like. So you're still gonna squat, thrust your hips, engage in your core, so it's here and it's here. Movement is in the wrist. Be careful to not jam the kettlebell down on your forearm. I've walked around with bruises back in my day when I used to swing a heavier kettlebell. Okay, we're gonna do 12 on each side. Once again, if you have a dumbbell, just do a straight arm. Obviously, you can't do this move with the dumbbell, at least the snatching part, and that's okay. Three, four, tight right arm, five, Six, seven, eight. If you have bracelets or a watch on, you don't want them to get damaged, take them off nine. Ten, two more. Eleven, twelve. Switch, twelve more on left. So it's one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Control, protect your back, core tight. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Modification for this next move. If your arms are really tired, you have shoulder issues, you're gonna hold the dumbbell like this, and we're gonna focus on flexibility. We're gonna ease into dipping over to the right side of our body. Now, if you wanna make it more challenging, put the kettlebell in your left hand, and you're gonna be, we're gonna be inching over towards the right side of our body. We're easing into the stretch. Neutral neck, slight bend in both knees, if you choose to, and as we ease into the exercise, challenge yourself to go deeper with your stretch. Core is engaged. Remember to protect your back. Keeping the chest open. Three more. This is one. And two, and three. It's great for the obliques, great for flexibility, great for the core. You also work your upper back, arm muscles. Same thing, other side, easing into the stretch. Always wanna ease into your stretch. You don't wanna just jam into the stretch. So in April, this April, when COVID hit, which would have been last March, that's when my fitness classes stopped and that's when I started my YouTube channel. If you look at my about on my YouTube info, I started actually last year. I actually started my channel, I think, 
X amount of years ago, but I really did nothing with it. But with COVID and me not able to show up and teach my classes, I thought, gosh, how can I still support and influence and motivate my peoples? And so here I am. Okay, three more. It's such a fulfill, fulfilling journey that I'm on. And thanks to all of you. Last one for your support. Okay, from here, we're going to do something called a froggy squat. You're going to hold on to your kettlebell, froggy squat. I've done this in other workouts, in other videos. <sighs> the weight right away is in your heels. It's never in your knees, okay? You're pushing the weight back into the heels. So right here, I feel absolutely nothing in the knees. It, it isolates your quads and your hamstrings and your glutes, this move. From here, we're going to do 30, then we're going to go into a bar exercise, okay? So ready? Here we go. One. Follow my count, two, don't rush it, three, engage in that core, four, five, six, seven, remember weight back, eight, nine, there's 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 20, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 30. Kettlebell down, slowly come up. We're gonna actually work our inner thighs. Hands are gonna be on the hips. Right foot down into the mat first. You're gonna get in your tuck, right knee slightly bent. You're gonna open up your left hip. Your left foot is in point. Shoulders back, chest up. From here, you're going to tap your big toe to the mat, pause for a second, and then come back down for 10. So it looks like this, one. Slight bend in the left knee, two. Three. Four. Five, focus. Six. Seven eight, supporting leg, you also feel it, nine, and 10. From here, we're gonna isolate for 20, uphold, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 20. Slowly bring your left leg down. If this is your first time to my channel, and you really like the bar part of this workout, I have a ton of just strictly bar workouts. All right, slight bend in your right knee. I, I would really love if you check them out. We're gonna do 10 lifts, opening up the right hip. One, two, three, four, five, six. Anytime you're working balance work, you want to engage in that core and find a focal point. Nine and 10, you're going to do 20 isometric lifts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 20. You're slowly going to bring your leg down. Now you're going to stand on your right foot doing your best to keep your hip points facing the mat. And if you need something to use as a guide, just a little, use your, the wall of your house or wherever you're working, grab a chair, whatever you need. I'm just gonna do this with just my body weight. Hip points are square. Both of my hands are on my hips. My left foot is gonna stay in flex. Right knee has a really nice bend to it. Flat back, neutral neck, core is engaged. From here, flex foot up for 31. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 30, slowly bring the leg down. Supporting leg glute gets fired up as well as the left glute. 
Okay, same thing, other side. I can promise you one thing. I'm gonna be a lot more wobbly on this side, but that's okay. I'm still gonna do it. I'm gonna challenge my balance. Right foot has a flex and go. One, hip point, square the mat. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 20, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 30. Slowly bring your right leg down. From here, we're gonna go down onto our mats. We're going to do um, some kettle, some push-ups with our hand through the kettlebell. One of my major supporters of my classes over the years, I named this after her, it's called the Nora push-up. So anytime anybody in my classes said, oh my gosh, I love this move, can we do that one? I would name the move after them. Something that I always did. You can do these in plank if you choose to. I love to do them in my knees. My form is perfect. When I do them on my knees, when I'm in plank, I just don't feel like my form is like I want it. So you're sliding your hand through your kettlebell, dropping your hips. From here, we're gonna do 10 deep elbow out push-ups and go. It's gonna hit you differently by having the hand through the kettlebell. So for all you girls out there, or ladies, women at any age, when we wear those cute dresses, the strapless dresses, and the part, and I'm gonna show you when we're done, this really hits that part of our upper chest. Where like our upper chest and armpit meet, it tones it really well. Four more. On the up of the push-up, both of your elbows, want, you wanna have a slight bend in them, two, three, and four. So this part of our upper chest, armpit, where the armpit meets the chest, that's where it really tones it by having the hand through the kettlebell. So now I'm gonna hit the left side. Same thing, 10 deep push-ups, drop those hips or stay in plank, deep as you can, elbows out, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Love that move. Okay, you're gonna lay on your backs. We're actually going to do, you're gonna grab your kettlebell or dumbbell. We're gonna finish with two different types of, we're gonna do it together, feet together, and then a feet wide move on the kettlebell. But it's gonna be very slow, pushing the back into the mat. Engage in your core. We're gonna start with feet together, very slow. We're gonna do an eight second up, eight second down. Leg lift, leg goes up, when the kettlebell goes up. So it's gonna look like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If it's really irritating your lower back, don't go down with all the way down with your, with your heels, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hold on tight to the kettlebell or dumbbell, you don't wanna drop it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, straddle, point. Same thing, eight second count down, eight second count up, ready, go. One, this is more challenging, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Engage the core, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice work, everyone. Remember the light starts within if you're shining within. Number one is you. You'll make a difference within yourself and the world. So please comment below. I love your feedback. And um, have a wonderful self-care day, and I will also see you soon. Bye-bye.